make a snowball with just crumbles? What's this? Well, Sam's had another thought about where to watch the northern lights. Canada. Canada? Yeah. Uh, Northwest Territories. Uh, well, you can't cruise to the Northwest Territories. Uh, you know... But my mum's thought it all through. I mean, uh, to keep costs down, because the flights will be expensive, so they thought they could spend a few days in one of your properties. Then a three-day stint to Yellowstone. Your life. Be like a, a land cruise, actually, won't it? Yellowstone will really be there, wouldn't it? Oh, hey, kind of like surf and turf. Anyway, I'm going to do some lunch at mine so that Sam can tell us all about his research. You're welcome to join us. Great. That's boiling water. Oh. She boils it in a jug and throws it. Watch. It turns to snow because it's minus 30 degrees. Oh. It's like the opposite of Thailand. Well, I suppose it's going to be cold wherever you go for the northern light, isn't it? I mean, how do you tell minus 10 from minus 30? It's going to be big coats and hot toddy weather. Well, I'm sure you can tell the difference. I mean, Norway is surely the better. Sam's got his heart set on Canada. Oh, do you remember that restaurant you took me to when I visited? They had a little pet moose that you could feed, do you remember? Yeah, it died. The restaurant closed. Uh, no, I, I googled it. Uh, well, listen, you know, uh, Norway is less time traveling and, uh, well, more time for fun. Let me find a moose. Yes, come on. Sam's got his heart set on Canada. Why are you trying to block it? Is there something you're not telling us? Catastrophizer, but it was all over the news. When it happened, the lady was only a little older than Mum, and the child the same age as Sam. I mean, at minus 30 degrees, you only need to take a wrong turn or misjudge the time, and, well, you know, they discovered their hypothermic bodies uh, a week later. Heavens. I know they're excited, but I wouldn't sleep if she took him to the Northwest Territories. Well, she mustn't. Blame me, you know, uh, say, uh, I don't know, uh, whatever, that, that uh, I've only got a limited budget. I'll play along. No, we'll be honest that we'd be worried if the weather was too cold. Honesty is always the best. It's all done with this gratitude thing, you know. Oh, you're so good to man. Next thing, uh, Norway's no good. We want Canada and your posh houses and, and to feed the moose in the restaurant. Oh, I love that place. And Gail's behaving like some detective from a 1970s TV show. You know, just one more question, Stephen. What's your objection to Canada? Are you hiding something from us? All right, all right. I only came so you could take me for a drink before I go. I need my in-flight earplugs. Why are you fretting about which trip is more expensive anyway? It's not your money. It's all the money I've got. I wish I hadn't stopped at talking them into Norway. Can you see the northern lights from Northumberland? We'll be grateful it's Norway and let it go. I, I can't afford either. Then make sure they don't go. Lose your mom's passport. Break her foot. People plan holidays all the time and can't go. Make them those people. Stephen, you didn't tell me Gabrielle was coming. Uh, are you heading off, my love? Not for a few hours. Oh, come to the salon and say goodbye before you go, right? I promise I won't tie you to a chair and make you get back with my son. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Not for all the money he's siphoned off you, lady. Peter, this is Jeff's. Oh, and thanks. See you soon. Good tip. Uh, Yes, if it were 1947. <laughs> hey, did you get my text about your uh, passport for the booking? I did. I rushed home between appointments and got it. Oh, sweetheart, I can't tell you how grateful I am for this trip. You do tell me, and I get it, and you can stop now. But it's more than the cruise in the Northern Lights. Sam is going to remember this trip for the rest of his life. And remember me, hopefully. He doesn't need a trip for that. No, but this will be a lovely, pure memory. Not like all the baggage the others have had to put up with. And when I'm gone, 
he won't hear a word against me. <laughs> that warms my heart. Well, that, that's, uh, it, it's why I wanted to gift it to you. Oh, sweet. Ah, oh, that, that, that's my phone vibrating. I, I better take this. Right. Oh, hey, the passport. Oh. I had to tell her that I said that. Shall I give you a black eye and you can tell her you got mugged for her passport? <sighs> I didn't take her passport. I couldn't do it to her. So you'll rob her of her money, but you won't disappoint her over a holiday. That's cute. It just feels wrong. Well, I'd love to stay and take the layers off this conundrum, but hey, I've got my money, and in a few short hours, I'll be drinking decent Italian espressos. So it ain't my problem. Let me know how you get out of it, though. It's a real cliffhanger. Hey, you be gone. Mom said you were packed and on your way. Stephen was about to book me a taxi. Oh, well, text when you're going, because my mum would like to wait. Mm. Take a top up. Yes, please. She's here. Don't do it, please. <gasps> oh! Not again. Oh! <laughs> Look, it's just a splash. I've got this stain remover. It's magic. Put it into soap. It'll be right as rain. <laughs> Great. Mum, I've got to go and get this into soak. Five minutes from her. Why don't you drink this before we chat? Why? So you don't throw it over me. I say, hey, why don't I go and run that under the tap for you? That is so thoughtful. A lovely flight, sweetheart. Take me with you. <laughs> She's joking. I am not joking. All right, I am joking, but send pictures from Milan. What's your number? You'll make Gabrielle late. Max, come and say goodbye. Uh, uh, yeah, bye. Oh, sorry, teenagers. <laughs> hey, Gail. Dry clean or replace? Your choice. You said you had a magic stain removing stick. I lied. Now he's interested. I did not spill all that. It was only a splash. And it wasn't the first splash, you clumsy old bat. <sighs> oh, Eileen Grimshaw. Gail, more surnames than hot dinners. There! That! Trying to fool me into thinking that you'd called in the angels. You have seriously lost the plot. You Watch and learn. It'll be you getting screamed at in the street next. It won't. <laughs> I'll fix it. <gasps> you don't believe me? <gasps> Better than that? I don't care. <laughs> oh, I will only pay for what I spilt. I mean, you've chucked a bottle of Merlot at it. I will chuck a bottle of Merlot over you unopened. Hey, come on, give it here. <laughs> Let's go. Let them fight it out. I'll go and put this in so good gracious. You know, my mates say you can never be friends with an ex. What do you think? Well, they can certainly make life more complicated. And all I ever want is a quiet life. <laughs> Laters. <laughs>